Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I kind of want to explain to you the Nespresso line. Now, I just got into the Nespresso line. It was very confusing to me at, at first. So I thought I would do a video to help others. Now, I by no means am an expert at the Nespresso line, but I have done a lot of research online. There's some very good web pages out there that, that kind of explain the differences, but it really just took a lot of research. And so here we have, this is the Nespresso original line so the original line are these type of pods they still make these you'll see them all over and they just say nespresso pods and then here you have the vertio line these are the round ones now and this is the newer one this was like from 2014 onwards i think now let me get into the differences so obviously these are smaller these are bigger um these are just pretty much for doing espressos. Now you can do a lungo, which is kind of like a, a, a double shot of espresso. And that's what these buttons are for. So when you put the, the I just did a, a lungo here, which is like a double shot espresso. So when you put these pods in here, they go in here and you can do a, um, just a, an espresso, which is 1.35 ounces of water run through there. So it's, it's, it's a, very small amount of coffee like an, it's an espresso shot and then a longo is 3.7 ounces now over here on the on this line you still get the, the espresso shots of 1.3 uh, or 1.4 ounces basically but you can also do a coffee now i think from reading online is they wanted more versatility with these pods and on this machine here you can get coffee pods and you can brew an eight ounce coffee. That's what I just brewed here. I'm gonna lift the lever. You'll see there's the coffee pod. It falls back. But this gives you the versatility to do a coffee. This machine, you really can't do a coffee. Um, it's mainly just for espresso sh uh, shots. You do have a milk frother on this machine, which is really nice. And on this machine to get milk, you gotta buy the, um, the Nespresso milk frother, which is an extra add-on device not associated with the machine. And so, and this one's kind of like a, just a, like a Keurig machine where it punctures it. It pushes in the water with a lot of pressure and heat and you extract the espresso shot. This one, on the other hand, spins. So they're using a little different technology. This thing here spins. And you can hear it spin. It winds up like an airplane. And that gets you that. So I've never seen a coffee that comes out looking like this. And it's a really rich tasting uh, coffee. Now, over here on these original line pods, you have to read. So when you get them in the pack, you're going to have to read the pack. Like this one says it's an espresso pod. This one says it's a lungo pod you see there so that I have to do that so when I put the kind of the purple one in I've got to hit the espresso now I can do a lungo with it there's nothing to prevent me I'm in control of the buttons on this machine this is kind of older technology but this pod was designed just for an espresso and then this one is designed for like a double shot like a lungo and I would press that button now over here they took that option away from you they're pretty much so see these barcodes on the bottom of this they want this this machine is automatic so you have two types of pods over here you've got see the smaller one you've got these coffee pod these two are coffee pods and this is an espresso pod and this machine is going to is going to know which pod you're putting in by this barcoding system on the bottom so this kit came with this vertio line this newer line it's a pretty nice kit. It came with a nice selection, but it's got this really nice chart. And so you'll see the word coffee. All of these are coffee. Now, there, you, there, there are more than these, but this just gives you a really good idea of what the coffees are. Then down here, you see espresso. And see how these pods look smaller? And you've got darker, and that, these kind of get lighter as you go. And you even got decaffeinated. So, and that's going to be the... 1.4 ounces 
when you, so the machine's going to know when you put this pot in and it's going to know when you put this pot in. It's going to do eight ounces when you do this pot. So here I have, here I have the, I've got, it even says on the outside what it is. Voltiso, it's that one right there. This is an espresso pod. And so when I put that in, you can see it's noticeably smaller. I will, when I put this pod in, I only get uh, four ounces out of it. I can't get any more. And then like these, I just did a coffee pod here. Um, I tried to see how it reads it, but I don't necessarily know. So you put the pod in and then when you push the thing down, it kind of goes down. There's something, there's something down in there that reads that. I'm not quite sure. Now let's talk cost. So these are cheaper and they still make them. These are about 75 cents for a pod. Um, and I do notice there's a lot more variety with these pods. Whereas these pods seem kind of limited to Nespresso. They sell a bunch of them on Amazon. And unfortunately, it's kind of like bigger quantities you got to buy. You know, the smallest quantity I saw on Amazon was, was $35. You get a bunch of um, coffee pods. But you got to kind of buy them in larger quantities. I haven't seen these at Walmart. And like I said, I don't see... There There probably are other manufacturers making these. I just haven't seen them. Not like I've seen these. I mean, I got these at Home Goods. And I got these pretty cheap. These are Starbucks pods. And these are all over on the internet. And so these are about anywhere from a buck to a buck. Almost a buck 25. The espresso pods are, pretty, the espresso pods are actually a little more expensive. And again, over here, these are about 75 cents. So, you know, not quite double, but you're doing, you're doing something completely different over here. You're actually getting a cup of coffee. That's what makes this different. That, I think that's the versatility that they wanted with this machine was, hey, people wanted actually a cup of coffee. And that's a really cool looking cup of coffee. And we're here, you're not going to do a coffee over here. So I've got a pot in. Let's put... Let's put a Lungo pod in over here. So these things both operate, you know, relative. They got a water tank in the back. You know, this has a water tank here. I've got detailed reviews on each one of these machines on how they work. But I just wanted to kind of explain the difference in the pods. You know, when I learn something, I want to teach others. And this is kind of everything that I've learned about these pods. So I'm going to close that. Push that down. We gotta lock it. So I'm gonna hit the one go button. I'm gonna hit this button. Now both machines are kind of loud. That's kind of the, the this one's definitely louder than this one. This one's relatively quick, but you get that kind of rich, creamy. I'm doing a coffee over here. This is going to be a big eight ounces. And you can hear it's it's spinning. And then towards the end, it really spins fast. They both produce the same temperature, about 155, 160. Again, here's what this one looks like there. This machine on the left is, is very well built. This is a completely different coffee from like a Keurig machine. You know, a Keurig machine doesn't produce a coffee like that. And then it kind of winds up like an airplane. I always say the airplane's getting ready to take off. And then it's done. So on this one, here's the pod. So here's, here it is when it's done. It doesn't poke a hole in the bottom. I thought it kind of did, but it doesn't. It pokes a hole in the middle and then around the side. And so I cut one open. Again, this has got a bunch of coffee grounds in it because that's a coffee pot. If I had an espresso pot, it wouldn't have near as much coffee in it. And then here's these pods. These are all aluminum. There is just a little bit of a filter material down there, but 
Now, one thing I did notice is, so that, that spinning action really extracts a lot of the water from the coffee grounds. These tend to be left, this is, these tend to be kind of damp still for a while. But this is kind of like a K-cup where it gets punctured on the top and it also gets punctured on the bottom. But again, these are just limited. They're, there's only one size. So even, even when you get like a Lungo, like I can tell this one's heavier. This one's for like the, the, the Lungo and this one's for the Espresso. So I can tell there's less coffee in here, but they are the same. They always have to be the same size. Whereas over here, they can get away with having uh, two different sizes. So again, this is the Nespresso line. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't talk to you a little bit about... So, when I was doing my research, this kept popping up. Verissimo. So this is a Verissimo machine. I don't know why I'm in my head I kept... I had all three of these kind of confused. And at one time, I thought all three of these machines were the same. And they took the same pods. But then, man, the more you look into it, you're like, no, that's different. That's different. And so this is a different type of pod. This is a Verissimo. Now, I don't know a bunch about this machine. You know, it, it takes a completely different pod. This is more along the lines of a K-Cup, maybe. Um, I think this line was originally developed by Starbucks or this k uh, I'm not sure, like, the history of this, but you still, you know, they still sell these machines. People really rave about these machines, you know. People rave about all these machines. And, you know, this is, this is, you're kind of getting into different territory than a K-Cup, especially with this one. Um, you're just getting into a whole different, um, a different kind of a tasting coffee and a different way that it's brewed. Um, I don't have much experience on this one. I'm going to do a detailed review. I'm going to play around with it. I, I do want to um, do some espresso and different things with it. But, again... I just had to talk about this because this is a completely different line. And actually, this is not associated with Nespresso. So you've got Nespresso Original, Verdial line, and then this is the Verissimo. I think what happened is, is the Verissimo and the Verdial line kind of mixed up in my head, and I kind of thought they were the same. But again, I'll be doing a review on these. But I hope this video helped with the Nespresso line, you know. These seem a little older, but with the frother, these make really good um, drinks. This is an all-in-one system by DeLonghi, um, and where here is, you know, this machine, you've got to have a, a milk frother on the side, but, but for the coffee, it just tastes really good. So I hope this video helped. I was rambling a little bit about it, but I just want to help others with my videos. I hope this video helps. If you could, please um, leave your comments down below. I may not have everything right. If you leave it in the comments down below, I'll pin it. You know, if I was saying something wrong, I'll uh, correct it. But thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.